Hi everybody, it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flix Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Today's video is an unboxing. It's an unboxing of an electric bike, a lithium powered electric bike. I've recently formed an alliance with Vamos Electric Bikes, an Australian company. They design and import electric bikes here for Australian conditions. And the bike that I'll be unboxing is called the Amigo. It's probably the most useful, practical electric bike on this planet and I intend to use it for uh, my photographic bicycle tours and whatever around Sydney Harbour around uh, and just getting transport um, so I'm looking forward to well obviously the unboxing and see how easy it is to unbox it and then in subsequent videos I'll also be giving you a real live example of how I use a bike all right uh, so let's get on with the unboxing Today is just going to be the unboxing and let's see what's involved to get it all set up. I believe that 95% of the bike is fully assembled already and just got to do the last little bit of five or last 5%. My first tool, a pair of scissors. Oh, before I forget to mention, yes, you can get an Adventure 8 discount code if you purchase a Le Amigo bike, e-bike. Uh, check out, you can just put in the Adventure 8 discount code and that will give you a bunch of accessories free of charge. Now, the three accessories you get are a pillion seat, a set of foot pegs that go on the back of the Lomigo bike, and you get a rear rack basket. So if you don't want to carry a pillion, you can just put on the basket. Any purchases uh, support the channel, so that's really appreciated. If you were to purchase the items individually, that would be about $235. So it's a couple hundred dollars saving, and I hope you can take advantage of the discount code. Like any typical bloke, uh, I haven't read any instructions. I'm guessing that there will be some instructions along the way. And um, we'll see how we go, eh? That's not coming open very easily. Okay, that's good. And the next one is going to be a knife. Exhibit A. Alright. And there we go. When using a knife, you have to be really careful with opening up a box because if you go too deep, you can damage whatever components are in the box. So be careful if you're gonna be using a knife. I'll continue with just un undoing everything and just let's see where all the components are. That's all the packaging. So all we need to do is put the handlebars on and the front wheel on. And we can have a look to see what's inside here. Ah, <laughs> yes, there are instructions. <laughs> um, you've got a power pack and uh, you've got a power cord. Ah, look at this. A high quality spanner as well, 15 millimeter spanner. So I presume that might be for the foot pegs. There's two foot pegs there. <laughs> of course there's two foot pegs. Ah, look at this. Ah, this is really useful. When on a bicycle and you're going anywhere, one of the most useful tools are a, is a multi-tool with uh, multiple hexagonal keys and uh, you know all these little doobie lackeys as well. Normally you get tools with things that you have to assemble yourself that are completely useless. You use them to assemble and then you throw the tool away. That is useful. Okay, uh, we've got a multi-spanner there as well. We've got some spacers and so that they'll all be important. You've got some cable ties. Looks like a bit of a, a, an extension to a, an electrical circuit and a little bracket in there as well. No doubt we'll come to that. And the instructions should tell me how I should be doing that. Okay, well I had a quick look at the instructions. 
And um, look, they, there's quite a bit of detail there. I don't want to necessarily go through all the detail, but basically put on the handlebars first, put on the front wheel, that's what was over there. Put on the pedals and then you're pretty much ready to go. And then after that, you just got to work out uh, how to use the controller, which I'll go through as well. So it looks like I'll be using my favorite tool. We've got the head stem here. We've got uh, a number of Allen key bolts there. These are just done up finger tight which is pretty easy to undo. These are the handlebars. So that's basically how the bike arrived. And I'm guessing that the only thing you need to do is just to rotate the handlebars up. So there's no need to twist in any way. They should just rotate up. And then that will be the finished position somewhere around there. Once you've got uh, one bolt in, just you only do a few turns just to get it in there and hold it in place and then you can put in the other bolts. Get all four bolts in evenly. I think that's good, pretty good so far. And now for the front wheel. All right, and then they just slide down out of the slots here. Okay, so that's done. That's the disc pad spacer. So you've got to take the disc pad spacer out before you put the wheel on, okay? It's good to know that was in there. I'm thinking it's gonna be easy if I turn the bike upside down. And now it'll be easier to line this up correctly. Okay. And that goes in there. So there you go. We've got the washer and we've got the nut. So once you've got the axle in there, then you put on the washer and then you put on the nut. Like so, and the same is done on the other side. And the disc here is in the caliper correctly. You can see it rotating in there. So that's fine. Okay, that's on nice and firm. Free rotation there. So that's all good to go. All right, now you've got a couple of bolts here. I presume that's for the mud guard that goes on there. All right, so we've got two foot pegs. Looks like they both look exactly identical. So that will just screw in that way. And that will screw in also that way. So far, so good. So we've got all that working. And now we flip it over. It's looking pretty good so far. Uh, we get, get the seat. That's got one of these undo latches. And that can just be put in there. Should be about, I don't know, groin height, I suppose. We'll try that for now. All right, so, so far so good. So all we have to do now, put on the, the mud guard there, and also the bike rack here. So that will also fit there. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna put the mud guard on and the carrier on the front here. So we just need these two tools again. So we'll do the mud guard first. And we just slide that up from the back. That's good. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just made of putting the carrier on now. A couple of other little tricks here, particularly with the carrier. This is where the spacers come into it. So you wanna make sure that the spacer is at the back of each one of these. That gives enough space for this cable to operate freely when you're turning the handlebars from side to side. Spacer. Put the first one on. A 
That's good. So the cable is free to turn, to move up and down between those bolts with the spaces there. So that's good. Excellent. Okay, so what's next? I think we've got a headlight here. All right, so there's my headlight. We've got a cable, so there's a cable there. That would make sense that it actually fits onto where the carry, where the mud guard actually bolts on. All right, so that's easy. We can just take that off and put that on. Is there. Okay, so that's connected. Lights are on. Okay, there's my keys. All right, I think we're getting pretty close to the mark now. The rack, the rack, the pedals, the front wheel, the mud guard, the light, and the handlebars. And that's it. <laughs> and the keys. All right, so for the next task is we want to turn all this on. We've got the battery here. You've got an on off switch here. So I'm gonna switch that on. And then we've got the controller here. All we need to do is got three buttons. So again, all three straight forward. And you just press the middle button and hold it down for a couple of seconds. And we get the welcome sign come up. And then straight away, we've got a number of settings here. So you've got a big zero here and that's to do with the power assist. So if you press this top button here, you can see that we can go power assist right up to level five, or you can power down to level one. You've got a throttle control here. Now, because I'm on level one, if I press the throttle control here, it won't do anything, the bike won't move forward. And then if we increase the uh, power to different levels, then when we operate the throttle, it would operate the back wheel. But also when you're pedaling, it will register that you're pedaling and there'll be power assistance to the pedals. Uh, the battery level right now is four out of five bars. And it's showing you also what speed you're doing right now. You're not doing any speed at all. Um, looks like through the testing process, it's done two kilometers already. And um, let's have a look. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll move on the side stand here and I'll just uh, lift the back wheel up like so and then when I'm operating the throttle I'll just take it down to level one then the back wheel should operate which it does that's pretty easy and showing you the speeds going as well. All right, that's good. And we'll take that back to zero. Again, if I press the throttle now, nothing's gonna happen. And if I use the pedals, then we can just operate it with pedals. <laughs> All right, I think we've got a successful box unboxing. And to turn it off again, uh, it's just a matter of pressing that that uh, center button there, hold it for two seconds and then that turns it off. Um, okay, just a quick, actually another quick instruction. Let's just turn it back on. It comes back on. Uh, to operate the lights, you just press the top button here and just hold it for two seconds. And then the lights come on as well. There you go. We've got the front light. And also we've got the back light there. And to turn the lights off again, we just press and hold that, and then the lights go off. Like so. That's it. That's the unboxing. I'll just turn that off. And we're ready to go. Okay, probably the last little bit is how do you get access to the battery? Uh, I might show taking the battery out from the other side as well. Might make it a bit easier. You've got a button there, when you press the button you can actually see the battery level as well. Alright, so that's my battery, it's, it's showing about two thirds charge. Okay, that's good. And that's where you put the key in. So we can take the battery out by rotating that. 
and then that just lifts up like that and you can take it out like so and to put it back in it's the other way around just slide it in and then we can lock it back in place ah i think that's it that's it for the unboxing yeah i'm looking forward to taking this for a test ride and um, living with it uh, putting on the accessories that will be another video well, if you like the bike, then do go to vamosbikes.com.au and purchase one. And uh, hope you can take advantage of the coupon code Adventure 8 and get those accessories included for free. If you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe. Press notifications, you'll be notified when the next video is out. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers, bye.